everyone it is danny and welcome to this updated video i hope that you have been enjoying your tuesday and we're going to be taking a look at what is happening across the atlantic so right as we're looking at this infrared satellite we can see that front which extends out into the atlantic there's that blob in the gulf of mexico associated with it but another one is going to be making its way out of the u.s and may unleash quite a bit of rainfall across some areas potentially inducing flooding as well and the next area of potential flooding is going to be parts of the southeast caribbean as well as northern south america as that trough continues to propagate toward the west so that will be moving in and resulting in an increase in rainfall across some areas we'll be talking about that and there's another front out there but we want to go on to the latest forecast from the climate prediction center this was updated not too long from when i've started recording this video so we're looking at the global tropics hazards outlook and we're seeing that this is updated for the next two weeks so we've got week two and week three week two goes from the 13th of december to the 19th and then week three the 20th headed to boxing day on the 26th of december so first we're looking at week two and we're focusing on the atlantic basin so as i zoom in here we can see these green lines and we can see those values as well 50 and 65. now those areas within that 50 is where there's a 50 percent chance of an increase in rainfall or above average rainfall rather and that will likely be as these fronts continue to make their way out of the U.S. and induce rainfall across sections of the Caribbean. And then within that 65% enclosure, we've all, we only really see Bermuda there, potentially parts of the Bahamas as well. But there is a 65% chance of above average rainfall within that area. And then as we take a look at parts of northern South America, there we can see that uh, those brown lines, they indicate the chance of a below average rainfall. So 50 to 65% chance chance of below average rainfall across sections of Venezuela, Guyana, Suriname, French Guiana as well, and Brazil. And then those mustard shadings, yellow mustardy shading there, representing the chance of above average temperature. So things may be warmer than normal across much of these same areas expected to receive below average rainfall or with that medium chance of below average rainfall. Now let's take a look at that trough at a much closer view. Here we can see it. We can see all of this activity in association with it. Nothing too organized, just a couple of blobs. Now this is the surface chart forecast for tomorrow, the 6th of December. And there we can see that broken line. A part of it is cut off or covered rather by that uh, message right there. But we can see that the axis of that trough is expected to extend into Guyana. So as we head into tomorrow, there could be quite the rainfall increase across portions of the Guyanas, Guyana, Suriname, French Guiana, and also for Trinidad and Tobago and other portions of the Lesser Antilles. And then take a look at that front, which continues to make its way out. So that could help to induce some rainfall as well across portions of northern Central America. Let's look at what the models have to show in terms of the rainfall forecast and we're kickstarting with Euro. This is as we head out to 12 a.m. Thursday morning. So really for the rest of today, and right through tomorrow this is what is expected as it relates to rainfall activity now within those areas of those red shadings and even those burgundy shadings as well we're going up to an inch or over an inch of rainfall one to two inches so as we head into tomorrow, Euro is not showing that the majority of the precipitation associated with the trough is going to be moving in. However, there could still be those periods of heavy rainfall across uh, the northern part of the Guyanas, even going toward parts of Trinidad and Tobago, especially the eastern portion of the island. And then through the Lesser Antilles, there may be some rainfall as well, maybe even some heavy downpours at times, especially from around Grenada, northward up to Guadeloupe. Are other models in agreement with this? Let's go on to GFS. So GFS is showing some of those uh, more red shadings for Trinidad, which would indicate some higher rainfall totals, even seeing some of those purples for the northerly tip of Guyana as well. So GFS is saying, okay, there'll be a lot of rainfall within this time frame here. And then going on to the ICON model, ICON not showing a whole lot of rainfall for Trinidad. Nonetheless, as I said, there could still be those periods of heavy rain, similar story through much of the lesser and 
going to leave so we definitely want to watch out for that if you're going out tomorrow remember your umbrellas just in case there is some rainfall activity and also other areas that are expected to receive some rainfall would be over in the northern part of central america so for portions of mexico even guatemala belize honduras and the islands as well the bay islands of honduras and the keys of belize there could be some substantial rainfall within the area of course other Parts of the Caribbean may have some passing showers at times, but the bulk of rainfall expected tomorrow is likely to be within these areas here. So that is what is expected, guys. And then as we head through the rest of this week, uh, the rainfall is likely to continue for some areas because this is the forecast for the next five days from GFS. Look at those purple and pink shadings popping up across some areas portions of northern south america going toward trinidad and tobago grenada the grenadine saint vincent so gfs is expecting that it's going to be those areas which will receive the uh, much of the rainfall associated with the trough as we head through the rest of this weekend into early on sunday but of course i'm here to keep you guys posted on what is happening looking at the caribbean right now though we can see that there are some showers moving through some areas much not happening for most of us but as i said that trough is going to be moving in so some areas will be experiencing that rainfall increase and for the rest of us is going to be pretty much dry and quiet and that is what i wanted to share with you in this evening update so i hope you found it to be quite informative but if you have any questions please leave them in the comments i'll respond when i can and remember to always be weatherwise.